Hi friends, my name is Miss Jenny and I'm the Youth Services Librarian at the Centerville Branch. Today we're going to be doing a mini story time all about Valentine's Day. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Can you get one hand out for our first song? And can you get two hands out? We're going to learn some sign language to go with our song today. And the first sign we're going to learn is more. It's like you're pulling on rubber bands. And the second one's together. It's like you're stirring a pot. The third one is happy. It's like you're a monkey. And the fourth one is friends. It's like your fingers are hugging. Are we ready to sing the more we get together? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! All right, friends, our book today is called Valance Line, and it's written by Jay Keller. Victoria Franken was a slime scientist. She loved her slime. Her slime goop loved her back. Look at, I think that's goop. He bubbled with enthusiasm when they experimented in the lab. He oozed contentment when they read science books together. He bounced along happily when they walked Igor in the park. Yes, ever since the stormy night Victoria brought Goop to life, the two had enjoyed their time together. When Valentine's Day rolled around, Victoria made 20 slime cards for her school friends, a doggy bone card for Igor, and, an ex and one extra special card for the slime. As she admired her cutting and gluey, Victoria realized something. She had lots of friends. Goop only had one friend, her. That didn't seem fair. Luckily, Victoria had an idea. Igor, we must experiment. Victoria and Igor gathered material, snuck to the attic, and locked the door behind them. If Goop couldn't make a new friend, Victoria would make a new friend for him. She considered using her favorite slime recipes. Sniftastic flower slime, mouth-watering chocolate slime, magical fairy slime, but none of these slimes seemed quite right. Look at the magical fairy slime gives you wings. That's pretty neat. What ingredients would make the perfect friend? <gasps> Igor, something smart. Igor, something sweet. Igor, something fun. Now all she had to do was wait for a lightning storm and zap, her creation would come to life. She waited and waited and waited. Victoria sighed. It looked like lightning wouldn't strike. She would have to take matters into her own hands. Igor, fetch me some wires. After, after tinkering and tuning, Victoria was finally ready. She hit the switch. The slime foamed and frothed. It splattered and sparkled. It sent a cloud of sugar into the air. Victoria held her breath as the glittery, gooey creature crept over the side of the beaker. This was it! She had done it! She had met a friend for... Uh-oh! The slime was still growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Before long, it stretched all the way to the ceiling. Victoria had to do something fast. Igor, pull the plug! She tried to catch it. Igor, the vacuum! but the slime wouldn't be contained. She attempted to freeze it. Igor, ice cubes! But the slime wouldn't stop. Victoria and Igor slipped from the room as the shimmery goop filled the attic just at a, as it started to squeeze out the door after them. <gasps> Kaboom! 
The giant slime bursts into 10 regular sized slimes. Victoria and Igor stared in shock. What had she done? She hadn't made Goop a new friend. She'd made him lots of new friends. Victoria introduced Goop to her latest creations. The slime quivered with happiness. From that day forward, Goop and the other slimes spent a lot of time together. They did their own experiments. They played slime games. They taught Igor new tricks. Goop was thrilled with his new friends. But that didn't change the fact that, that Victoria would always be his best friend. He loved her and Victoria loved him back. The end. Good listening, friends. Are you ready for a rhyme? Okay, let's put our hearts up on the board. We have an H, an E. E, an A, an R, and a T. That spells heart. Are you ready for our song? There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh, H-E-A-R-T, 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 and heart is its name. Oh, okay, now we're going to flip around the H. And instead of saying H, we're going to clap. Can you show me how you clap? Wonderful. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh, E A R T, E A R T, E A R T, and heart is its name. Oh, we're going to turn over the E now. So we're going to clap twice. One, two. Are you ready? There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh, A R T. A-R-T, A-R-T, and heart is its name Oh, Excellent, we're gonna turn over the A now. And we're gonna clap three times. One, two, three. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name Oh, R-T, 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 R-T and heart is its name Oh, Okay, now we're gonna turn over the R. And we're gonna clap four times. One, two, three, four. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name. Oh, T, T, T and heart is its name. Oh, now we're gonna turn over our last letter and we're just going to clap five times. Ready? Like one, two, three, four, five. There is a shape and it means love and heart is its name oh. And heart is its name oh. Yay! Excellent friends, are we ready for our last song? Can you get one hand out? And can you get two hands out? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands with all our friends and wave goodbye like this. Bye friends.